Hello everyone, my name is Avinash and um, I'm back with a new video on uh, S3 module. Um, I hope you already uh, uh, gone through this uh, 2 hours 15 minutes video on uh, mastering Amazon S3. Alright, so uh, I recommend first go through this video. There I have explained all the S3 basic features and how to configure lifecycle role and replication and all. So on top of that replication feature, right, uh, so basically this uh, video, um, I have explained about replicating data from one source bucket to uh, another destination bucket, which is in same AWS account. Okay, so uh, now I'm making a video of uh, how to replicate data from one AWS account bucket to another AWS account bucket. So for that, I have two AWS accounts. So here I'm in account one and uh, uh, this is another account, right? So I'm going to uh, create a video in my account. I'm going to call it as a source bucket and I'm going to replicate data to another AWS bucket. So create bucket and I'm going to call this bucket as the avinas.yt.source. So uh, it's in my uh, AWS account. It, I'm creating this in Mumbai region and I'm going to block all public access. As you are aware, if you want to use replication, versioning must be enabled and I'm going with default encryption and create bucket. Right, so now uh, this is my source. Whatever the data I'm going to upload to this bucket, so that need to replicate to a destination bucket which I'm going to create in another AWS account. Right, let's create a bucket. I'm going to call this bucket as avinas.yt.destination. Right, so we need versioning on this destination bucket as well and create bucket. All right, so the source bucket and destination bucket is ready. Now let's go to the source account first and configure the replication. Go to management replication rules create replication rule i'm going to call this as a yt source uh, yt grass account replication so i'm going to set this status to enable and source bucket right uh, i'm going to apply to all the data inside this if you want to limit this to a prefix you can do that or you can uh, replicate only specific tagged objects also i'm going to apply to all objects in this bucket whatever i upload to this bucket that need to replicate to the destination bucket now where is the destination so the destination bucket is not in my aws account right so specify a bucket in another account so here you need to provide another AWS account, 12 digit account ID and the bucket name here. Right, let's go here and grab this account 12 digit account ID and I'm going to paste it here. And the bucket name, if you observe the bucket name, avinas.yt.destination. All right, so you go here, give the bucket name and it pick the region automatically. And whatever the data I'm going to uh, replicate, I want to change that object ownership to destination bucket owner. And here, to perform this replication, we need an IAM role. This IAM role plays, plays some crucial role in the replication part. Again, AWS, to make it very simple, they are allowing us to select uh, this option, create a new role. Click on choose from existing role, but the first option is create new role. Select that role. AWS, like you know, pick all the required permissions, right? It the, the role also will review. So it the role contains source bucket information and the destination bucket information. What what options right required on source bucket and destination bucket that picks automatically. Right? Remaining all options I'm going with default, then click on save. Right, so now replication role created and do you want to replicate existing objects? I'm going with no. Why? Because it's a brand new bucket. I don't have any existing data. If you already have some existing data, if you want to replicate, you can set this. Yes, replicate existing objects. 
and uh, a batch job will create that is going to copy all the data so instead of batch jobs i suggest you uh, run sync command from source bucket to target bucket so then like you know you can save some cost right click on submit now replication role created successfully and uh, as i told you uh, i am role created here just go to that role and uh, this role is a customer managed one if you scroll down one policy created expand that uh, policy and you can see that here the source and the destination bucket right so this role has valid access on source as well as destination bucket to list the object get the replication configuration versioning of that object version acls retention right legal hold on that and not only that right so it is also allowing right uh, so this replication replicating object replicating delayed tags overriding the bucket owner information on the source as well as destination bucket all right so we need this role arn why because like you know okay this role is there it has valid permission on source account source account bucket fine but now this need to like you know uh, have permission on the destination right so if if you know this bucket name someone else bucket name can you simply give their bucket name and can you create a policy to replicate all the data no so at destination bucket level also we need to configure a bucket policy so for that go to the bucket destination bucket go to permissions and here there is a bucket policy edit the bucket policy and provide the bucket policy here so i already have a bucket policy i'll take you through this bucket policy first so first uh, like you know whatever the role we already created so that role arn we need to provide so we are like you know allowing at this bucket level to replicate objects with the help of this role okay the principle is a role so now just go and grab this role arn replace that here all right and also replace here as well right so now once you replace this information this role apply at your uh, destination bucket go to destination bucket apply that role i'll make this role available uh, in our video description and also the bucket names you need to adjust accordingly the bucket name is avinas.yt destination also here avinas.yt destination all right that's what the bucket name right yes scroll down then save changes all right so now there are bucket policy added on my s3 bucket then go to this object and perform the uh, go to source bucket and uh, upload something and uh, verify click on upload add files i'm going to select some file um, i'm taking a file uh, with the name called commands.txt click on open then click on upload all right now i have uploaded an object into our source bucket and once that upload is completed if you go to that object uh, properties if you scroll down a bit here you can see the status the replication status it is showing as a pending right once this status like you know changes if if there is any problem with the associated role or the, the created role in the source bucket or if there any problem at the bucket policy the destination bucket policy so then this replication will show status as a failed if replication happened successfully it will show status as a completed all right so again whenever uh, i noticed one thing 
whenever we implement this replication for the first time it is going to take some time and you can see the replication status it is showing status as a completed so that means that file already copied to the destination bucket let's verify now i'm in destination bucket give a quick refresh and you can see the file copied here to double check you select the file scroll down and replication status is this is replica copy all right so with the help of this role and applying it bucket policy right so we can replicate data from a source bucket to destination bucket as well and there is one more scenario if your source bucket is encrypted with a kms key and destination bucket is encrypted with another kms key we like you know need to provide some more additional permissions on this uh, uh, source uh, role as well as we need to add that kms permission on at this bucket policy also so that like you know probably i'll take some time and i'm going to make some uh, another video on that all right uh, i hope you find this video helpful so uh, thanks for watching see you again guys